extra batsman to play. Clive Lloyd down with a flu and Gus Logie with a broken nose. And there simply was no other batsman for them to have played. So a change now in bowling. Off comes Sylvester Clark. He had a very good spell indeed. Five overs, one maiden, no wicket for nine. Beat the bat once or twice. Both some big in swingers. And now Andy Roberts is going to come on in his place. Bison's got ten and he's going to be in strike. Well, they're really testing their speed between the wickets, their judgment, and the fielding of the West Indies. That was just a little bit risky because there's a hesitation from uh, Rick Darling, but he is very swift between the wickets. Made his ground in the end with a yard to spare. Australia need 190. West Indies having been dismissed for 189. This is the match which will decide whether Australia or Pakistan will go into the finals against the West Indies. West Indies already there, in fact, have been there for some time. Well struck. And they'll have to hurry. But that was good judgment once more. They decided to go through for the second run. Arkham Marshall, the fielder. That's good cricket from Dyson. Marshall just had to get himself in position, waste a, a valuable fraction of a second. And good cricket there from John Dyson. And still that light drizzle persists here. One for 42 in the 12th over. 15 overs for there to be a match. What a magnificent ball. 